Hello and welcome back for another episode of my RC Tugboat build vlog. It's been quite some time since we last did any work on the hull. We spent the last two episodes with the construction of the steering house and the reason we did that was because I had some issues with the prop. Um, that's the original prop that came with the kit, it's a resin part. Uh, it wasn't fully cured so I didn't want to use it and the problem was we absolutely need to install the prop before we can think think of uh, installing the rudder. So I tried to find uh, some spare parts. I ordered this beautiful uh, brass prop. Unfortunately, it's slightly too large, so it was hitting the hull, so no good. I tried to install that prop here. Uh, Size-wise, it would have been a perfect match. Unfortunately, uh, it's slightly too long, so it's touching the rudder. Actually, I have the same issue with the original prop. It was also slightly too long. It was touching the rudder and I tried to sand it down uh, to make it fit. And then I realized that there's no proper way of securing the prop on the prop shaft. So there's no uh, screw to, to hold it in place. Um, the only option you have is actually to glue it onto the prop shaft and I absolutely don't want to do that. Luckily I was able to find a solution. I had this little prop here as a leftover from another project. Um, and you can see I can secure it with two knots and it fits with the rudder. The rudder is able to move freely, it's not touching. So this means we can now proceed to install the rudder for good. So to connect the uh, steering servo and the rudder uh, through the two uh, wires, I used these tiny collars, which I simply glued uh, to the underside of the uh, servo arms. And if I use my servo tester, you can see that this actually works. I probably won't be making the tightest turns with this model, but uh, we'll see how it behaves once it's in, in the water. for a little test run. Quick update from the test run, on the plus side we have the steering, it works quite well and the model turns far better than I've expected. On the negative side we do have the noise though, since everything is directly screwed onto the hull we have a lot of vibrations going on, uh, but I think for a model this size it's neglectable and hopefully once we put on the deck and the steering house the uh, sound will be somewhat tuned down. We 
can now install this in a frame and as you might have noticed I had to cut away um, some a, a tiny bit so that the rudder can move freely because it's uh, just about the same height. Once all RC components have been tested, it is time to glue them in place. And you've seen me use a hot glue for this task. Uh, this gives you the advantage that whenever you want to change something, you can easily remove uh, the components. Also, I'd like to mention that I've raised this area here because of the uh, rudder. Um, so it needs a bit of elevation. So when I place the deck, the rudder still can move freely. And that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna glue in this first layer of the deck. The deck has dried and I think it's time to treat it with some filler because when I take a look at that tiny freeboard we have here I'm pretty sure the deck's gonna get wet. I leave that to dry now. I hope you had fun watching this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified for the next episode coming up. If you have any question regarding the build, please leave a comment and I say thank you and see you next time.